Hello and welcome back to Hexus Gaming. This is day 11 of 7 Days to Die Perdition. As you can see, I am very infected and very hungry. I was also rather lost. So, let's see if we can not get the hell out of here. Oh no, oh, oh no, oh crap, that's not good. I just realized something. I accidentally scrapped my spears. Oh man, that's not good. Not good at all. Nope, and I don't remember the way out of here. We could be in a lot of trouble here. This is terrible. I know that one of these is the way out. Which one is it, Frick? Well, well, I don't feel very smart at the moment, but whatever. Take a while to pound through this, but I can't find the way out. <laughs> oh man, that's just brutal. Got a sliver of hunger left. Yay, I'm starving. Trapped and starving to death in a bunker because I can't find my way out. Nope, I meant to repair my weapons and I scrapped them. Oh well, it was only a stone, so it's not that big of a deal. Come on! Ugh. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
We are an absolute mess. The zombies stuck in there. That's fine. Now it's too hot out. Oh, hopefully we don't die from that. Because that would suck. And it's going to take us forever to walk back to the base. Because we're unencumbered. Oh yeah, not to mention the broken leg. You know what? We're just going to run on it anyway. Wow, what a mess. Five percent infection. Come on, you can do it. It's not that much further. Yeah, because, you know, this makes for great content, right? Just slowly creeping back. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that little ambush in that closet there yesterday really messed me up. Oh, man. All right. First things first. Not quite enough. Okay. Let's take and get some food in us here. Okay. So, what all do we need for the work? 25, 20. Have the mechanical parts. And then we have the iron. Build it. Build it, they will come. Let's plant some mushrooms. Whack them on the wall. All right. So we got that. Oh, did I scrap that tier six shovel I found too? Yeah, I did. I hit the wrong button on it. Oh well, it's gone now. Not much we can do about that. Uh, grab the lock picks because they're handy. Those can go away because we don't need them. Um, the other thing that I need is a forge. What do we need for a forge? Stone, leather, duct tape, short iron pipe. So the only thing that we really need there is some clay. And a scrap of shovel. Stone shovel. Okay. Oh. All 
Alright, well, we need some wood, so let's go chop down some trees. Find something to do. <laughs> No stamina because we're hungry. And we were chopping wood. Alright, let's see if we can get a little bit more food in our character here. This is kind of ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that's right. I found this. That'll fix my up real good. There we go. What? How did I not search that? Day 11 is just going to be kind of a stick around at home kind of day by the looks of it. Not too much happening. Workbench in one minute. Yes. Got some excitement. Wandering horde. Oh, right over her shoulder. And again, why am I so terrible at throwing that spear? Stamina. Turn on, huh? That's better. We got another group of three or four over here. Let's take these guys out too. They're not doing anything. They're not busy. I'm not particularly busy right now either. Dare you? Face. Oh, that's cool. And it, it pierced his ear. <laughs> nope. Missed her that much. Eat it. <laughs> and then poke, you're dead. <laughs> All right, that workbench should be done. 
So let's take and get that placed. Where should we put our one patch? Yes. Beautiful workbench. Ooh, they're being a little bit cold on that, too. God, I just had to nick the floor, didn't I? There we go. There's our workbench. So now we just need the stuff to make the forge. All right. See, normally I'd do this at night off camera, but I've got the zombies so aggro so aggressive that it makes it kind of tough to do that. Mind you, it's not like we need that much. We only need 60 units, I think it was. And we get a tiny bit of extra, just just because. Never hurts. Person also needs clay for the forge as well. Ooh, I'm gonna have to set up a little mine over here. That's perfect. A whole bunch of iron, stone right there. Okay. So let's see what else we need. Three, ten leather, three duct tape, three iron pipe. So, no leather in there. There's a three iron pipe. And I don't see any duct tape. Duct tape, where are you, duct tape? Well, I have cloth and glue, so I'll just make some duct tape. Glue, 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 where are you? Okay, so. I'll save those, I'll use my honey instead. Honey, honey. There we go. Now I start working on the forge. Oh, I just oh, I forgot the leather. Yep, today is kind of a homebody day. But we got two of our weekly things knocked off the list. We wanted to build the forge and the workbench. And those are finished. That's awesome. So now what I should do. Is collect a bunch more wood. We need wood for the forge. And the campfire too. And anything else we may need to build down the road. Eventually we'll have to modify and upgrade the base. The base as it stands should be strong enough to withstand probably a day 21 horde without too much trouble might get a little bit concerned but I did pick up a bunch of cobblestone so it should be fine there oh look at that we're almost all healed up again do I have another skill point yes I have another skill point
intellect level four. Uh, let's put it into level four. And we'll keep going on intellect for a while. Oh, I'm just standing here swinging at nothing. <laughs> uh, this episode's kind of been one of those days. <laughs> I just realized something. I think I can run around the apocalypse in a suit. And if I remember right, I have a suit back in the base here. Yes, I do. I want to take that gross brown dye out, though. You brown. I don't like brown colored clothing. Never have, never will. It's just not my thing. There we go. We got suit pants and a suit jacket. We have a suit. It's the little things in the apocalypse. Right? All right, let's also place the forward chair too. I want another chest because I like having a chest for materials. Chest for the workbench, chest for the forge. So yeah, that was a pretty good day. Still a little bit of daylight left. Let's go plant these trees quick. And we'll just take and pop over here and just drop them in. Plop them in. And plop. Alright. Productive day for sure. I actually have searched all that. How did I not search that dumpster? Oh, look. There's some duct tape. You never have too much duct tape in the apocalypse. Some people would say you can never have too much duct tape, period. I don't know how I didn't search that dumpster, though. Alright. Time to get back in before things get ugly. Alright, so that was day 11. Day 11 was a very productive day, even if it did start off kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Smashing your way out of a hole with a nothing but a rock on a stick, basically. <laughs> uh, it's not the first time I've scrapped instead of repaired on a game. And it probably won't be the last. I lost a tier 6 shovel. That's kind of... Fortunately, it was just a stone shovel, but still... It sucks. Principle of it, right? Alright. Dump all that in there. All that in there. All that in there. Yeah. That actually was a productive day, other than smashing our way through a thousand points of steel, or iron rather, 
with nothing more than this. <laughs> Good thing it's a sledgehammer. Those things pound through stuff fairly quick. But what can you do, right? Shit happens. I completely got lost in that POI. I could not figure out where the heck the entrance was on that. Feel kind of dumb for that one, but what can you do? Can't be perfect all the time, especially when you're doing something like this. Shit happens when you least expect it. So yes, that concludes day 11. We built a forge, a workbench. I'll do some inventory sorting off camera because that's that's just boring as fuck going through the boxes and moving materials from here to there. Don't think you guys want to watch that. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed day 11. Please like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Remember, I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I got things set up on there. Uh, voting for stuff, community voting. I sometimes put up polls and such on the Facebook page. So if you want to vote on what happens in the series or have any ideas, the Facebook page is a great place to do that. And I'd like to involve you guys in what's going on with my series and stuff that I do here on YouTube as well. Just to have some community feedback and help me make things better as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day.